the next one I want to do is um, okay. So like lots of feelings and health issues. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, th- I mean, this is this is quite similar. Like especially if you're um, doing a lot of intense spiritual work. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> Uh, you, you, you become eligible to, to clear out your stuff hey, and uh, uh, so I think, I think you, know, I, you know like what I did share because we do talk about the death of the ego here of enlightenment uh, so we're talking about fully transcending the ego yes. and, uh, and I, I do share that so eventually what comes up is the terror of death the terror, the terror of the death it's the terror of the death of the ego you know, and it's extreme, extreme feelings can come up. They'll, they'll manifest in the way which is most horrific to you, you see. Yeah. So maybe it can be like a, a fear of being burned alive or, uh, or like, uh, inter, you know, combustion uh, and, uh, you know, internal combustion, all kinds of ter- horrific things of, of facing death, mm-hmm. uh, burning body, uh, lots of heat, feeling like you're going to die. Um, this is like, I mean, these for me are like really, um, uh, really core opportunities to transcend them. And uh, also remember, because, you know, that, you know, only the ego can die. You cannot die. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. So what, what is dying is the ego. Because you know, the, the connection to source cannot die, like it's yes. eternal, it's undying. Mm-hmm. So we will do a little bit later on the tool of the observer, or the witnesser, uh, to, there is something that watches, or that witnesses, mm-hmm. and it's undying. So if you just keep that in mind, yes. or go to the observer, and then you, you just, um, you, you do one of two things. If it's like uh, you, have, you sort of play chicken with your illness, you see, it's, 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 it's like it's okay. Uh, I'll, I'll let it. I'll, I'll let the illness die, yeah. or I'll let it die. So in my own in my own thing, like when I was giving up food addiction, mm-hmm. uh, I had panic attacks. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had panic attacks. So. I um, panic attacks. Mm-hmm. So panic attacks are you feel like you're dying, you can't breathe, and yes. there's no air in the room. And I mean, this is the thing where it's like a, a classic <clears throat> confront, like you're facing death, mm-hmm. and you've got to be willing to. You've got to be when the fear of death comes up, you've got to be willing to die. Yeah. So you say like, even if I die, I will not back down. I want, I, want, I want the grace, I want to be one with the source, I want to be one with God. And even if it feels like I'm facing my own death, I will, I will face that. But I will not back down, okay? So I did that, because otherwise you always back down and not go through. Yeah. So I did that, and I went, you know, my very first panic attack, it was like 15 minutes, I couldn't breathe. I felt like I was dying, and I wanted to use. And then after 15 minutes, I could start to breathe again. Yeah. And then that was the very first time I had transcended that. Yeah. And then I had a th- a two or three more panic attacks. And I've been abstinent from my fear addiction now for 10 years. Mm-hmm. And I uh, more or less haven't had a panic attack in 10 years. So it's like, it's like a huge confront with your ego, yes. where it says, back down or you'll die. Mm-hmm. 